How we investigate and how we preserve our human history has changed drastically over the last two centuries. As our knowledge has advanced, so has our ability to comprehend and collect. One of these such excavations tells a story in sharp relief. With discovery as a precedent, the Grave Creek Burial Mound in Moundsville, West Virginia, stands alone as a story of rich history and promise. Joseph Tomlinson was to unknowingly become a pioneer and founder of one of the most historically prominent regions in West Virginia. It all started with his astounding discovery deep in the thicket of the woods. His legacy would be solidified by this, and his name to be remembered by this mound of earth. According to A.B. Tomlinson, Joseph's son, the story of the discovery of this 2,000-year-old mound goes like this. He had shot and wounded a deer that had approached his cabin. His dog gave it chase, and he also followed. The deer ran a southern direction into the distance where it was overtaken by the dog and caught. With the deer on his shoulder, Joseph unexpectedly came to a steep hill of considerable height. This astonished him, as the density of the forest had obscured the mound from the view of his cabin. He had seen many other mounds of the same character in the neighborhood, but of much less dimensions. This eventually was to become known as the Grave Creek Burial Mound, and 33 years later, Meriwether Lewis would seek this mound based off of its mystic folklore. Tomlinson supposed these mounds were built for Indian burial, and he was correct. The mound was built in successive stages over a period of more than 100 years by the mound builders of the Adena culture. This was quite a feat considering they did not use wheels or have any horses. 60,000 tons of earth was moved by baskets alone. At the time of Tomlinson's discovery, there was little to no knowledge about how to properly carry out an archaeological dig. In hindsight, the work carried out by the Tomlinson family and others after Joseph's discovery could have jeopardized the integrity of the mound. In 1838, Joseph's descendants Jesse and Abelard, along with Thomas Briggs, excavated the mound. By tunneling in from the side and top, the men discovered a burial chamber in the center that housed skeletons and a large amount of jewelry. With this new discovery, the Tomlinsons actually opened up the center as a museum, which eventually weakened the integrity of the mound further. Five years later, famed Native American scholar Henry Rowe Schoolcraft mapped the area of the mound as part of his research. Throughout the next 200 years, the mound was home to many peculiar things, including a saloon, a dance platform, and artillery pieces. All of these actions had consequences to the mound's structural integrity and appearance. By 1908, the mound was saved from demolition for development by local women of the Wheeling chapter of the Daughters of the American Revolution. In 1909, the state of West Virginia purchased the site for preservation and placed it under the care of the warden of the West Virginia State Penitentiary, which is directly across the street from the mound. The mound was declared a National Historic Landmark in 1964. In 1975, Dr. E. Thomas Hemmings of the West Virginia Geological and Economic Survey conducted the first scientific excavation of the area, locating, among other items, the previous existence of a moat. Today, the estate hosts the Grave Creek Mound State Park and the Delft Neurona Museum and Cultural Center. They take extra care of its prized possession. Despite all of the damage that has occurred throughout the years, the Grave Creek Mound still stands tall, its 69 feet captivating to all in Moundsville. Plans for future excavations are underway. These excavations, however, are going to be done with care and respect, without excavators ever having to pick up a shovel. Advances in science technology have allowed excavators to use remote sensing to actually see what's inside certain parts of the mound without ever having to dig it up. Meanwhile, one thing is for certain. Just like Meriwether Lewis said more than 200 years ago, we are all anxious to get a glimpse of its towering, remarkable form. <laughs>